Hey guys, Jay here. Welcome to Miller's Planet. Uh, I did not think I was going to be making one of these videos anytime soon, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. I tried working on other videos, my brain would not let me, my thoughts would automatically go right back to coils. Okay, so a quick prelude. I have made two other coil guns, and... They have both sucked ass. In terms of their force output, they were good like proof of concept videos for like how to use sensor feedback to control the on time for coils or how to hook up high powered coils to an Arduino without setting the Arduino on fire. This one though, I want it to be powerful. It's been a very stressful couple months and my primitive child urges are compelling me to make projectiles go fast. I am a child. So as of right now, I'm still waiting on some parts to arrive, but I've been able to build a rough draft uh, that it has been able to do some actual damage. So I wanted to do a part one where I'm kind of planning and testing things out. In terms of like body design, I am very open to suggestions. I was thinking uh, Gauss Rifle from Fallout. So let's talk specs real quick. For the barrel, I'm gonna be using a very non-conductive PVC. If you try to use a ferromagnetic barrel like iron, your eddy currents are going to completely ruin your efforts in creating a magnetic field. I need a thick copper wiring that is practical to work with. So I opened up two microwave transformers and pulled out the primary coils. And I also bought 12 gauge copper wiring. For power so far, I've been using a full wave rectifier hooked up to the mains and 10 capacitors all rated for 200 volts, each one 1500 microfarads. I've been able to get them to about 165 volts hooked up to the rectified mains voltage. To make this thing portable though, I'm gonna need some kind of battery and then some kind of boost converter so that I can charge the capacitors at a higher voltage. I'm gonna get back to the other parts, but for now let's move on to projectile and speed testing. There are two controlled variables in this experiment, and that is the power coming from the capacitors and then the targets, which are going to be cans I find around my house. There are two dependent variables that I want to observe, and that is going to be the speed and the damage. The independent variables, the things I'm gonna be changing out, are gonna be projectile size and then coil size. For coil sizes, I have the 12 gauge from Amazon and then the primary wire from the microwave transformer. I just wanted to see if they were kind of in the same ballpark. Projectiles though, I'm gonna be trying a bunch of different stuff for that. Um, first thing I'm gonna try is nails. Just nails cut in half and then using the sharp end. The second thing I'm gonna try is screwdriver drill bits. The little drill bits you put in your drill. The nails I think are made out of iron. They hold on to their magnetism a little bit longer and the screwdriver drill bits I believe are made out of some kind of steel alloy, they lose their magnetism almost immediately. So I wanna see if that has an effect. And just by weight and size, I wanna see which one does more damage and which one has a quicker speed. So for finding the speed in feet per second, I ended up designing two different speed detectors before I made one that worked accurately. The idea is I place infrared sensors one and two, a predetermined distance apart. 
and I have my Arduino record the time at which each sensor goes off, so then I can do time two minus time one to get the total time, so I can then calculate speed by doing distance over the total time. So results. The first coil would regularly do around 50 to 55 FPS. On rare occasions it would get up to like 75. There was little difference between projectiles. For the longer coil, the speed was usually around 55 to 65, also not really a difference between projectiles. But at the end of all this speed testing, I tried shooting one of those longer screwdriver bits and it really surprised me. It would regularly get around 100 to 120 FPS. It just went right through my test dummies. On one test run, it even went through the can, came out the other side and continued on to break my favorite mug. In terms of projectiles and damage, the long screwdriver bit wins the competition. And I'd say the shorter drill bit takes second and then the nails come in a close third. I think for the final version, I'm gonna redo the coil so that they're around the same length as my projectile. That way, right as the projectile reaches its maximum velocity, it'll be right there at the center and then my circuit will know to shut that coil off. Hopefully my SCR thyristors will be here soon. Uh, they're like transistors, but they can handle high power. Before they get here though, I have to connect the coil segments and then set up the infrared sensors so that when they get here, I can calibrate the on time for the coils based on the sensor feedback and then battery stuff and then designing a body. All suggestions are welcome. Well guys, that is it for this video. Uh, if you want to support me and my overly ambitious, the right word here is stupid efforts, I do have a Patreon. Link is in the description. Um, Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Part two should be out soon. If I'm still alive, 2020 has been a very mixed bag so far. See you next time. Bye bye.